Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change backdrops in the interactive collage. So right now I've got it so that when I click on the snare drum, it's gonna say, I really like playing the drums. Yay! But I wanna make it so that when I click on the snare drum, it goes to something music related. And then when it finishes saying this, it goes back to this blank backdrop. So here's how we do that. So hiding behind me, we can go and choose a backdrop, which was right next to where we chose our sprite. And you click on this, and there's a bunch of different backdrops in here. You can click on different categories, just like in the sprites, and you can even search for some things. So I want something that is music related, because this is uh, about the drums, and I'm gonna go with, ooh, the concert. This one looks cool. So I click on it, and it gives me the concert uh, backdrop here, and now I can go back to my code, and all my code is gone. Yay! Just kidding. So right now it's uh, pulled up the code for the stage and there's nothing there. So to get back to my code, all I have to do is just click on the snare drum sprite and it's back. So we have it on here. I wanna make it so that it goes to this backdrop when I click. So we're gonna say switch backdrop. And we put this at the very top because we want it to happen first. And we want it to switch to the concert backdrop. And then it's gonna talk. And then when it's done, we want it to switch to another backdrop. And in this case, we're gonna to go to backdrop one, which is the very first one that we used, which was blank. So if I click on the snare drum, it said this thing, and it's gonna to switch to backdrop one. Okay, let's make sure it works again and switches to the concert. Awesome. So you're gonna do this with each one of your sprites that are in your project. So for instance, I would now go over to my heart and I would add in code like the previous one where it switches to the backdrop, says something, and then switches to the blank backdrop again. So add code like this into your project, and uh, if you want, you can experiment with other blocks because there's a lot of really cool things that you can do in here more than just using the looks blocks that I'm showing you. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.